Hey, what's up Lego fans? It's your stud showing and today I'm going to be taking you through a tour of my Lego train station. So let's get started. So originally the set was built with two sets of the Grand Emporium. I really wanted to have this train station having a Grand Central kind of look, just overbearing, like the main building in the town, throwing back to the times when trains were the main mode of travel, getting from large city to large city. So starting on the first floor on the outside, you see the pillars were taken from the Grand Emporium. You got large windows made up of a bunch of the smaller windows from the Grand Emporium set. You got a center staircase leading up to the main rotary door, along with subway tiles on the side. The second floor boasts six large windows looking out onto the street, and inside is the fine dining restaurant. You got some of the roof detail, which was also taken from the Grand Emporium. A brick-built model of the Lego train logo, which is going to be swapped over to flat tiles. And a clock tower taken from the Central Hall set. Or the Town Hall set, that's what it was. <laughs> okay, over on the side you got a nice courtyard with some street performers breakdancing. You got a ice cream vendor. A nice water feature in the center and some tiling work around decorating the floor also inspired by the Grand Emporium set. You got a ramp leading up to the platform with some stone trains imprinted on the wall. You got a more modern diesel style train along with the caboose. A mother's walking her child out to take a trip on the train. You also have a side door leading into the inside lobby. A nice shade tree is tucked up on the corner along with stairs up to the platform. Over on the platform, got more benches for seating, nice little overhang, yellow printed stripe to tell people to stay back. There's a steep edge and drop off for the train. Double sliding glass door, some lamps, and the passenger train that comes in. I covered this train in my last video, I believe. On the second story on the back, you got a nice balcony where people can sit and eat, along with napkin holders, mustard and ketchup, on the table and if you're just traveling alone a nice little bar to sit at with an overhang. Moving up to the roof you got this ginormous style glass bay window looking into the station, an AC unit and a vent. Inside you can see the chandelier also taking from the Grand Emporium set. You got some stonework on the platform as well just to liven up the look a little bit. I used this shelf piece in dark gray to kind of extend the platform but not so much where it would be hitting this train. Moving on to the interior of the first floor, you got the ticket stand over here with a countertop built with a snot technique. Another stone train implanted on the wall. This is more of a steam engine train and some following cabinets in the back. Really wanted this to have a classy look. You got some lockers on the side along with some steps leading up to the restaurant on top. 
As you look over here, you got some interior seats along with clocks representing the times of different time zones. Over here, you have a coffee shop with some tables and chairs. And if you want to grab a little bite to eat, it's got a little menu for that as well. So kind of cool to tuck that in here. A little bit more of a modern feature. I wanted this to look old, but have modern features as it grew with the times. Over here, I did use the shop logo from the Grand Emporium. And this is more of a small little gift station with postcards, knickknacks, and some drinks in the back. Got some souvenirs from the city if you'd like to take those with. Let's take a trip up to the second floor now. Moving up to the second story, you can see the waiting area with the hostess for the restaurant. The large windows from the inside now, along with some nice wooden classy ceiling fans. Got a few tables to eat at. Over on this side is the kitchen and it is a little bit cramped with some chefs making some food and the range hood over the oven. You got a nice booth right there for a large party if you want it. You can see the chandelier is hanging from the second story and how you can look down onto the first story from the second floor. This door leads out to the balcony, which I already showed you. And so that pretty much concludes my tour of my Lego train station. Hopefully this inspired some builders. I noticed when I was looking for inspiration for a train station, I couldn't find too many videos. So hopefully this works for you. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more, click subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for my city or want to see any other buildings in detail, leave a comment down in the comment box. Hope you have a good one.